Hello everybody, sorry for the delay on this, um, meant to get it out sooner in the day. Also sorry for not getting stuff out as much, but um, as promised, here's the cooker and two that we had. Um, one of the biggest things to allow you to do cooker and two is that uh, these mortars here aren't actually rocket launchers. The ring was, I'd say it's pretty much... It might even be considered a little bit more difficult just because you have to shock these mortars down here and when you go after them they obviously need to be shocked so we'll go ahead and start with the lord of the ladies hitting here marking the the standard weapons that you would need killed on the outside right away and he does a, a three smoke drop here um flared three smoke drop sorry about the cat <clears throat> from here um, as you can see you flare right to the top left above the top left corner of this cell here and you um, it's good to get these smokes out early from what I understand I'm not known as a very good cooker um, ring hitter but um, getting those smokes out early um, doesn't allow the zookas to spread outside of the smoke before the you the smoke ends um, because they're not going to always stay right under that smoke so getting that out early a little bit helps and that way you don't um, lose delay too early as you can see um, because of long shocks he's able to re-smoke and brick gets capped in the face which isn't great um, and then he goes up and there's no laser here so he doesn't need that protective smoke unfortunately here um, he's gonna get his critters out just a tad late um, and the mortars see the girls and take a pretty nice chunk of them just a second shock out off on them And um, what's great about having these cells down here is um, you can throw critters down on them. And um, it doesn't get the lasers in range, obviously, but also um, gets these boom cans off your way. As you can see, he's just going to try to clear as much as possible um, on this hit. As the next hit, um, it is pretty com complex. I'm going to have to finish up. But fortunately, he does end up getting some of these these flamers here, which was a huge help. I, I did the next hit, and it was a huge help there. Just clearing mines now. Um, he actually had one barrage, but ran out of time. Just as that flame died, he you can see the barrage went out, but wasn't able to register anything. Um, and here's my hit. So what we, um, the biggest problem with this hit was actually these being flames and not mortars, or sorry, flames and not cannons. Um, so what I tried to do and kind of successfully or kind of not was um, drop just three boats on this side to hopefully clear these flames um, without getting into range. Um, you'll see here that couple get in range and a whole bunch of girls get toasted which was unfortunate but I knew those had to go down and then I dropped the rest of my boats a little bit farther to the left and the reason for that was I wanted to get this um, this flame passively without having to flare it or shock it or anything and then as soon as that um, boom can went down I flared back down um, I end up using like all the delay on this thing a little bit lucky that I didn't get ripped, uh, ripped pretty good. Long shocks were awesome here. Um, had to, and I was hoping to, to only have to use one, but I flared a little, little bit too far to the left, and um, not enough girls were targeting the shield there. On that second shock, I made sure because the girls on the left side were getting closer to get these mortars. Fortunately, these weren't lasers here.
then came over here to collect some GBE. To be honest, I didn't scalp this mine, and that's why I flared. Otherwise, I would have just let them passively spread in. Flared back down to the bottom. As you can see, you got all my mines clear and everything. Because there's a um, shock blaster and boom cans here, I decided to go with bullet, especially since it wasn't a super high um, core health. Came in at a little bit too much of uh, an angle, and um, I guess because they decided to wrap these flamers, which was kind of weird, but not not of huge consequence. Um, when you're doing this, you want to make sure some people flare all the way above, like a little bit to the left of this. But what you really want to make sure of is that um, between the smoke that covers bullet or your scorcher and the girls, you want at least like about a second um, between the, the two. Um, the reason for that is you want to make sure the lasers get locked onto a bullet from here I make sure to I start with my shock up here on these four lasers which is most important and then prioritize where I was going to throw um, as you can see because the um, I didn't get my battle or my taunt off early and these cannons kind of ripped through brick a little bit but was able to get the job done um, it was a really really difficult op and even with this cooker and two we're not going to get very good points but I uh, felt like this was a, a good example of Cooker and 2. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, have fun crabbing this weekend. I'll try to get better about next weekend with everything. Or next week with everything. Um, keep practicing and happy booming.